Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Johnston. I'm back again for another lesson for Thursday, March 19th. Um, I was at um, Windermere yesterday and it was really nice to see everybody. I noticed that some people posted some pictures of the Giuseppe Arcambaldo collages that we did. Um, we're going to do another fun project today that you can use found objects that you found around your house. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Today I'm going to read you a book and we can do a literature lesson along with an integrated arts lesson. And this is kind of a fun one. Um, I will show you some examples that I made. I think I might have got a video editing app on my phone that will splice my two videos together so I can have one. Um, I'm going to begin today by reading a story called My Dog is as Smelly as Dirty Socks and Other Funny Family Portraits by Hanok Piven. So today would be a good day for you to make a funny family portrait based on some of the things that um, you know and love about your own family. So, I'm going to start. My teacher asked me to draw a picture of my family, and this is what I drew. I showed it to her and she said, how great is that? But I didn't like it. at my dad. There are so many things about him that you don't see in this picture. Like, my daddy is as jumpy as a spring and as playful as a spinning top. He is as fun as a party favor, but sometimes he's as stubborn as a knot in a rope. So I made my picture better. See, that's him. Isn't he nutty? Wah, wah. And what about this drawing of my mom? Sorry, but it doesn't tell the whole story. My mommy is as soft as the softest fluff and as bright as the brightest light. She is as tasty as the crunchiest cookie. No, tastier. She's as delicious as a croissant. Personally, I prefer the cookie. That's my yummy mommy. Mommy, I'm going to eat you all up. And now you're probably wondering what my big brother is really like. Well, my brother is as amusing as a game of marbles and as strong as a baseball bat. But when we play hide and seek, he's as sneaky as a snake. Oh, and one more thing. He eats like a, I'll give you a clue. Oink, oink. Pig. That's my brother right there. And what about my baby brother? He's not this quiet. Here's the picture. Can't hear any noise from him. My baby brother is as sweet as candy. This is true, but he never stops crying. He's as loud as a whistle or maybe a horn or even an alarm clock. No, louder. He's as loud as a fire truck. Isn't he cute? Now, shh. And then there's Schmutz. I'll be honest with you. Schmutz stinks. Schmutz is as stinky as an onion. He's as nasty as canned fish, as icky as pepperoni, and as smelly as dirty socks. Turn the page at your own risk. So here's a picture of schmutz and all the things that he's as stinky as. I'm going to be really careful turning this because... Yucky boo, I warned you. But what about me? I am a princess as majestic as a crown and as sugary as a jelly bean. I am sharp as a pencil and as sparkly as a star. Wait, I have more. I am as colorful as a flower and as lovely as perfume. And I'm as strong as a stone and as good as an angel. Hey, I'm not done yet. I'm as funny as a tickly feather 
and as curious as a magnifying glass. I'm faster than a calculator and all around as special as beach glass. But more important than all of that, that was kind of a lot. My heart is big. And with it, I love my special family. Now, tell me all about your family. What do they look like? Here's a list of objects that can help you think about how to make portraits of your family. Things that say smart, a ruler, numbers, an owl. Things that say funny, chattering teeth, a clown, no, a clown nose, a toy monkey. Things that say scratchy, steel wool, sharp teeth, a cactus. Things that say soft, a teddy bear, a cotton ball, a slipper. Things that say strong, action figure, an elephant, or a hammer. And here's some different portraits that different children just like you have made using this book for inspiration. Again, this book was called My Dog is as smelly as dirty socks and other funny family portraits by Hanok Piven. So, anybody wanna take a guess what you're gonna to do today? That's right, you're gonna try and use some found objects to use for creating a portrait of somebody in your family. So, if you think that somebody in your family is sweet like candy, perhaps you'd like to use candy as part of your portrait, or maybe they're smart or fast or bright. So you can try and compare those things and find objects to represent them and create a portrait of somebody in your family. So I actually created a portrait of my dog, Kai. And I'm gonna press pause and then I'm gonna show you what I did with that. Also something fun that you can do with your found objects is to create a color wheel. So try and find objects for all the different colors in the color wheel. The primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and then the secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. For my older students in fifth grade and up, you can add in the tertiary colors, which are those double colors, blue, green, blue, violet, yellow, green, yellow, orange, red, violet, and blue, violet. I think I got all of them, but I'll, I'll double check, and I'll show you again on my um, paper that I did. So those are a couple of fun things that you can do with your um, found objects and I'm gonna press pause here and then I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I made so just one second so first of all here is my oh <laughs> that little remote control is not supposed to be part of that picture and it rolled so many of you have seen a picture of my dog Kai huh the Reese's cups not supposed to be there either so I'm comparing my dog, Kai, to some different things. She is as smart as the brightest bulb. She is as tough as nails. Oh, there goes her head again. She is, her fur is soft and silky like ribbon. She is as stubborn as a knot. And she is as fluffy as cotton. So that would be how I would do my portrait. I didn't even glue anything down. So um, you can do the same, although you do have that hazard of things rolling. So I did take a quick picture, so I will post those on Facebook. Now I also did the color wheel. Let me bring you over here. And I used objects that I found around um, downstairs in the studio to create a color wheel. So we have our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And then we have our secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. And then in between were our tertiary, tertiary colors, or as one of my um, kindergarten or first graders asked me about the third dairy colors. So this is yellow orange and red orange that you would get by mixing the two colors on either side. So orange and red would make red orange yellow and orange would make yellow orange, red violet, blue violet, blue green, and yellow green. So that's why you have all those extra colors in your crayon box because those are all part of the color wheel. So those should be some fun activities that you can do with your found objects today. 
or go and find those objects um, after you watch our video. So that's going to be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the story and that you can find some fun um, representations of people in your family and use them to create a portrait or perhaps use your found objects to create a color wheel or who knows, maybe both. Um, I had a good time reading this book to you. I look forward to our time together tomorrow. Um, please be prepared today as you hopefully go out and take a walk and gather some items from nature. We're going to be talking about a new artist tomorrow named Andy Goldsworthy, and I'm going to show you some pictures of his work. This might be a fun activity to do outside. I might even take my camera outside tomorrow to do my video for you. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say? Oh, I almost forgot. Yesterday was my friend Nora's birthday. Nora was a student at Windermere School last year, and she moved to North Canton. And yesterday, the 18th of March, Nora turned 10. So I'd like to wish Nora a very happy birthday. I hope you had a great day. And I look forward to seeing some of your artwork online. So bye, everybody. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands.